secure your secrets with Azure Functions and Key Vault. Now, in a previous demo, I showed how you can call an Azure function from the command line. Uh, I also showed how you can use key-based or token-based authentication. You manage these tokens or keys on your, uh, on your own. Um, we also showed how you can actually connect to SQL Server using managed identity. Um, and if you extend this scenario to, uh, to calling another function, uh, I also showed in a, in a different demo how you can use Azure AD uh, as, a, as your identity provider between all, all of these connections. But let's say you're trying to call in a legacy API, which cannot connect to AD. Um, and in this scenario, <clears throat> your credential would be out in the source code, would be in the open. Uh, and in order to avoid that, we can use something called Key Vault. Now, Key Vault basically uh, connects in the middle. You can put all your secrets in there, and uh, the runtime environment will retrieve that information for you. And that's what this demo is going to be about. So let's take a look. The first step in this is going to be to set up identity between Azure Functions and Key Vault. What this does is it, it lets Azure manage the identity. You don't have to worry about rotating certificates or things like that. Azure is going to handle all that for you. Uh, the managed identity is between the function and Key Vault. Second, you're going to put your secrets in the Key Vault, and this is going to contain the credential information to call your legacy API. Um, and, 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 and finally, you're able to give grant access to the function itself to the secrets. Uh, now, both of these uh, arrows, are, one is green and one is red, that means you can have different level of access. So the red arrow could be read, write, um, and, and list. They're both the same here, but they could be different, right? So one function may have a greater capability uh, than the other. And so the idea here is that you grant only what you need to the function. Now, once you've set that up, the nice thing about Key Vault is that it will actually give you uh, a report and uh, you can do audits on it. So you can see which applications have been reading your, your Key Vault. You can invalidate those, those, um, those security keys if you need to. So for example, let's say there's been a breach, you can actually disconnect the old privileges and, and grant brand new privileges without actually making any source code changes. And finally, uh, the nice thing about the app platform, the Azure Functions platform is that uh, they've integrated the, the ability to go read the values from Key Vault right into the configuration. So that way, when your application gets started, it will actually reach into that Key Vault, grab the secret, and make it available to your function runtime. Now, once you've set that up, uh, the way you read that uh, value is it depends on your programming language. So I've got four examples here, C Sharp, Python, JavaScript, and Java. Uh, in all cases, it's essentially it's, it, it's available as an environment variable, and all you have to do is go read that environment variable. So let's check out how this can be set up. So first, let's go configure an Azure function with a configuration setting. And this is the setting I'm going to be using. Let's deploy this. Okay, so that's finished. Let's go check out the setting in, the, in our portal. There's my key vault function, and there's this configuration settings. And in here, we've defined an app settings. Now let's go do a quick test. I'm gonna get the URL for the function. Copy that. Now it's set up as anonymous, so I don't I don't have to do any of the AD stuff here. So here we can see uh, the output, and I, this is what I expected. This is the value from settings. Now let's set up managed identity. So I'll go to my my uh, my function app. And here, I'm going to go down to identity. In identity, all I'm going to do is turn on system assigned identity. And what this is going to do is this is going to give me 
uh, 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 an Azure managed identity. Now that's there. That's all that I've got to do to set up the managed identity. Now let's grant access for this identity to Key Vault. So I can just say role assignments here and I can add this assignment. I'm going to select a scope. I'm going to say Key Vault and select the resource. There's my resource. And the role that I'm going to is I'm going to give it a Key Vault reader role. That's it. I'm hitting save. At this point, what we'll see is that the function will have access to read from the Key Vault. Next, what we do is define the secret. There's my Key Vault. Let's go to our secrets. We're going to create a new one. Let's call this not secret one, secret three. Okay. And the value, I'm going to give it a new value. Right. And I'm going to say it's enabled. I'm going to say create. And what's happening is that that's going to save it. Um, we can actually go look at it. We can view it. There, uh, we can so, show the value. And the, the value is going to be this is from Key Vault. OK, so what I want to show is that uh, when I hook it up, this will be updated. Instead of saying this is the value from settings, it'll say this is from Key Vault. Let's go grant my function access, read access and list access to that secret, to the vault. OK, let's go set that up. So here, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the Key Vault. And we're going to uh, define this access policy. I'm going to add an access policy. Uh, by default, uh, it gives you all these permissions, but I only want to do get and list. And I want to select the principal. In, the, in this case, the principal is going to be my app, this uh, Key Vault demo app. I'm going to select it. Click on Add. And then you have to remember to hit Save. If you don't hit Save, it's not going to get added. All right, so now that's been added. Now at this point, we have to update the configuration to point to the key vault in secret. So let's go to the app. We'll go to configuration. App settings, we're gonna edit that. And this is the current value, the current value from settings. We're gonna update that. Here we need the vault name as well as the secret. So the secret is secret three. And the name of the vault, I always forget this, so I'm going to go copy and paste. So um, this is actually the name of my vault. I'm going to copy that. OK. Save that. Now we can see on the screen here, it says my app settings. There's this green circle, which means that the, the uh, key vault reference was updated correctly. And it's saying it's a key vault reference so that the syntax was accurate and it's set as a deployment slot setting. That's very important. Now let's go check it out. If I hit up arrow and do the return, um, there it is. It says this is from key vault. So here, this was the old value, value from settings. Now it's from key vault. So what's happened here? is that um, we've updated configuration to read from the key vault. Uh, and it's kind of behind the scenes, right? So your, your, your function will basically use that environment variable and refer to the legacy app. None of those credentials would have been stored in your source code. They're now coming from key vault. Thank you.